You know, kids love to get their hands in the dirt and grow things. Today, we're gonna to grow some amazing amaryllis bulbs. Come on in with me. Who likes to grow things? I do. Everybody, let me make sure everybody has their hand up. Oh, great, so we've got a good group of people who love to grow things. I like to grow things, too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bulb like this. It looks like it's asleep. There's no growth here, but you can see it's peeking its little head out right there. You can see there's a little leaf trying to push its way out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an environment that makes this bulb want to grow. So what do we have to have to make it grow? Water. Water is one thing, right. We have to have a container, right, a pot. What else do we have to have? Soil, that's right. And food? Water. And sunlight, hey, that's it. And warmth. We have to have warmth. It has to be warm, right? So we're in the house because it can't, it's cold outside. Who, who wore a coat today to school? Yeah. Everybody wore a coat because it's cold outside, right? So this is an amaryllis bulb. Where do amaryllis come from? They come from Africa. Africa, yes, they're from South Africa. And they grow really tall. They have big, beautiful blooms. And we love them in the holiday season because they're so showy and festive. If you have a container and it has plastic wrapped around it like this, raise it up. Let me see it. That's very good. Okay. We want to just set our bulb in here and just see about where our soil level is going to come up. All right. You can see I'm going to need to put about this much soil in the bottom of my container. Can you all get a little soil now and place it in the bottom of your container? Everybody has soil in your pot? You want to take a little bit of fertilizer. Just a little bit of fertilizer. I'm gonna put that on top of the soil. I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit. All right, now hold up your bulb. Does everybody have a bulb? Now see, it looks like my, my bulb, if I turn it upside down, it looks like a head with a hairdo. See the hairdo with the roots? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we wanna spread out those roots a little bit, okay? So let's spread them out. Once you've spread them out, you wanna place that bulb and nestle it in that rich, soil that has the fertilizer in it, okay? Okay, I've placed my bulb in there and all the roots are below the bulb. You wanna tuck them in, that looks good, that looks good. Yep, nope, you have it upside down. Yep, there you go, that's better. Won't work if you plant it upside down. Put a little soil around the bulb, so we're gonna like get it nestled in and put a little soil around the top and I'm gonna bring the soil up to just about here and gently tuck it in there with your fingers around the edges so it fits in there tightly, okay? There are a couple of things I want you to think about. Each day, you're gonna to need to turn this one rotation halfway around like that. So it's, it's like this today, you wanna to turn it like that because it's gonna keep leaning toward the what? The sun, it's gonna keep leaning toward the sun. So you don't wanna just keep it in one place. So if you keep turning it, it'll stay straight and it'll grow straight up and it won't lean. So turn it every day. You wanna make sure that the soil stays moist and the more it begins to grow, the more you're gonna to have to watch it and water it because as it begins to wake up, it's not gonna need so much water. But then as it puts out a big stalk and bloom pods and blooms, it'll take more water. Then we're gonna take some of this Spanish moss and we're just gonna put that around the top to sort of decorate it just a little bit and cover the soil. Then we're gonna place this in our container like that. And look at that, isn't that a beautiful gift? Now that's a happy class of youngsters. And they made the perfect sort of holiday gift. They can share it with their friends. 